reverses it, just turns the corner. So you don't, the, there are some people that have valve problems with this right ventricle. And you can eliminate the valves, and the blood will still flow to the lungs. So it's not reversing, it's coming in and turning direction. This guy is reversing. Here's another study. Another guy. You can see that that's the, here's the left ventricle on the right. That's this one. And it even comes down. See how this comes down? I was really weird about that. I thought, geez, you know, if I file it off, look better. But no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad I didn't because then I found out that here is a picture of heart that kind of shows that. It does come down. It doesn't just it doesn't just go up here and go around. It comes down, overlaps this, because remember this goes up here. And it's coming down on there. I think there's another picture that might show that. And I can move on. See how the lung is all spread out at 60 degrees. <laughs> Here is a vortex that you would have seen. Yeah, that's the vortex. But in reality, this is a drop of milk on the photograph. And this is a reversal. So that the milk, which has the same consistency of blood, is coming up. And reverse it. She just happened to be in there. <laughs> anyway, so see here they're showing how the blood is twisting. This is, shows that the inside is twisting. Here it is twisting here. It twists at 40 degrees and so we go. Have any scientists acknowledged the fifth chamber yet? Okay, say that again. Have any of the scientists acknowledged the fifth chamber in yet? Well, uh, I haven't talked to any of them. <laughs> 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 you know, I mean, science, but I don't need it. If, you know, if, if someone, a doctor can see something here that would help them, that'd be great. But I have to do my work. You know, that's my main thing. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, let me go to architecture. See, I'm doing good on time. Uh, so, how's this thing relate to architecture? What is this? Well, uh, I looked at, uh, I looked at Rudolf Steiner, Eric Niano, and uh, it's made with two circles, and I found out that, I thought that he had already drawn the two shapes that make the 774. Are you in there? But it didn't put together, you know, it was something that was just part of the geometry that was going on. But what's really neat about this is that he took these two circles, and there's one right there, and he put a star in one, and that created another star. It's just perfect, and it just worked out really great. So I knew that mine also had two circles. I knew it. So I thought, I'm going to do the same thing, because maybe it's the same. It's not. <laughs> I got something out of here that's just because I just didn't try to cheat or didn't try to do anything, I just tried, what can I find? So I put a five-pointed star in mine, and out of the other circle came a seven-pointed star. Absolutely perfect. I did nothing but draw the two circles. The two circles are four and five. Once I drew the pentagram, all I had to do was stem that up here, extend it down. All I hear is the pentagram the point of the pentagram, I just spin it down at this circle. I said, well, I wonder what this does. So I knew I could make a circle here and a circle here. And to find out the same distance, and it went all the way around MA7. Ruba Steiner said in the future that the human being will be based on seven, not five. It's five right now. We have the choice between good and evil. But in the future, we will, have, we will be based on seven. So there's that same type of shape. 
this is more of an art that I find. Okay. The main thing I did is I tried to relate this to architecture and I wanted to make it sweet. Real simple architecture history here is all based on sacred geometry that's based on heaven and earth. So I try to find out the, the places that they use the heaven and earth. So heaven and earth is based on a circle and a square. Don't tell you to see these guys in the book, one guy hands out a cube of this one and a sphere here. That's because they're trying to bring heaven and earth together. That's the balance, that's the polarity. Both are polarities, the sphere and the cube, the circle and the square. Okay, let's see how the Egyptians work with this. Egyptians, they took a line like this and they drew the Egyptian triangle. And that's a five, three, and four. Three, four, five. If you haven't heard of that, that's, you know, Pythagoras, A squared, B squared, you see all that stuff? So what you do, this is an Egyptian triangle. They call this an Egyptian triangle because in Egypt used it in a lot of their surveying of their lands and so forth. So what we do is we draw a, a square around that three, and we draw a sphere. And then on this side, we do the same thing. Whoops. We make this a five, this a four, of course this is three. Three, 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 three. So this distance from here to here, if we make a square, is what? Seven. Eleven. the Egyptians did was they took the center of the moon and the center of the square and they made a circle. And that circle has the same circumference as the perimeter of the square. It is called squaring the circle. Balancing heaven and earth, earth is world. Now that is really interesting, and what's really great is this is what they did with it. Look at this intelligence that they have. Look at what they did with it. They took the earth part, which is this one, 11, and instead of extending it up to the earth, okay, instead of sending it up to here, I mean, instead of sending it up to the, to the square like this, they went up to the moon. So they brought the square of the base of the pyramid with heaven, or the circle. And that's how the pyramid was established. And that is really cool thinking. What's really cool about it, if this is 11, this is 7. That's really cool. That's how the Egyptians squared the circle. That's how they got heaven and earth together. So I did my thing here, and I made an example of the pyramid and I drew the red circle is the sun and the, the blue square is the earth. It's based on four and five. Interesting it's based on four and five. And I'll tell you why. So what did I do? They have the pyramid here. Here's the pyramid. And here is heaven. Now that's ingenious. <laughs> the only problem is 